And this entire catastrophic chain of events and the official response are now the focus of a state investigation. For now, the island's spirit of family is giving many survivors hope. And that sentiment extends right here to Central Florida. West Shoes Michelle Meredith spoke with an Orlando realtor whose family survived the fires but lost so much else. Did he share his thoughts with you on seeing? Uh, uh, just shock and, and grief. Joe Kirby is a commercial realtor who works out of Orlando. And 25 years ago, his brother Scott moved to Maui along with his wife Dana. Together with their son Tyler, they own Outrageous Surf, a place where folks learn how to catch away from instructors they say have decades of surfing under their feet. It's a passion, a lifestyle. What made them want to move to Hawaii? Uh, they went out there on their honeymoon and uh, they came back and said, we're uh, selling everything and moving to, moving to Hawaii. Their shop was located in the heart of Lahaina's tourist area. It was perfect, perfect until that wall of flame came roaring through last week. For days, Joe did not know what happened to his brother. Then finally, he got the call. First thing I said was, oh good, you're alive. <laughs> Joe learned his brother's house survived, and so did his surfing instructors. But that's where the positive news ends, and the story becomes hauntingly familiar. They got up that morning and, and went directly to the, the site before they had closed things off, so they were one of the first people down there. He likened it to uh, like a bomb went off in that area. The surf shop was scorched, a shell, nothing left but the bricks. And everywhere he looked, the scene was the same devastation and death. You said he was able to save one cat. I don't think it was any cat that he knew, but that was the only living thing he saw in the whole area. And he was able to, and he took that cat home. Maui remains home to the Kirby family. They plan to stay, build back. Joe's brother says the community is tight, determined, and as constant as the beautiful sunsets that grace the island. Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.